हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सिद्धार्थ वेलकम टू एक्स शर्द पब्लिक स्कूल्स इंग्लिश क्लास क्लास एट एंड इन टुडेस लेसन आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू फोर फ्यूचर्स हाउ दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वन अनदर लेट्स लुक एट द लर्निंग आउटकम थ्रू दिस क्लास यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न द डिफरेंट फ्यूचर्स you will be able to differentiate the four futures you will be able to use present continuous to talk about the future you will be able to use simple present tense to talk about the future look at this present continuous which we used to talk about immediate future simple present tense we used to talk about schedule be going to plus verb we used to talk about near future will plus verb we used to talk about far future or promise so let us get started with the present continuous future so the present continuous is when you have be verb so i am you are he is she is they are we are plus the verb and ing this is known as the present continuous it's usually one of the first thing you will learn when you are learning english we can also use the present continuous to talk about future that is going to happen very very soon so for example if you ask me siddharth what are you doing tomorrow well i am taking the train to bangalore tomorrow if you ask what is meet doing tonight well you know meet is a musician so meet is playing in the concert tonight what are you doing next week well next week i am working next week so present continuous is very very common for when we are talking about the future that is going to happen soon note the future that is going to happen 2000 years from now or 50 years from now we are talking the future that is going to happen in the next couple of days we can also use the simple present to talk about the future we have already learned what is simple present tense we use the simple present when we talk about routine timetable and schedule event in the future so here is some examples the plane leaves at 6:30 in the morning so 6:30 hasn't happened yet it's in the future but because this is schedule event it is timetable event we can use the simple present tense here is another example she has a yoga class tomorrow morning the restaurant opens at 5 pm this is going to happen in the future but still i use the simple present because this is a schedule every day the restaurant opens at 5 pm here is the fourth example i like watching tv my tv show the big bang theory starts at 4 pm so again it's routine it's a schedule that keeps place in the future but it's still a schedule so we can use the simple present tense here all right so these two even though they are present tense they can be used for the future now let us look at the two verbs we commonly use for the future or we commonly think of as future verbs be going to verb and will so be going to plus verb we use this when we are talking about the near future similar to present continuous so it is not a future 
that is very very far away it is soon but it is a future where we think something is going to happen and we have evidence for example i am going to study english next month this means you probably have your admission already done you are pretty sure about this another example i am going to drive to work today look at those black clouds i think it's going to rain it's a very good prediction because we see these clouds in the sky there is a lot of evidence it's going to rain another example he is going to go to delhi next monday this means you probably have your ticket already bought you are pretty sure about this there is no a lot of confusion so this is a bit different from will which is one of the maybe easier future to think about we use will plus verb when we are talking about far future for example in 50 years everyone will speak sanskrit we use this also when we are not so sure about something this is my prediction but i don't have much evidence of this so i will use will because i am not sure another example i am sure you will enjoy the film we also use will when we are making promises kishan says he will help us it means he is promising to help you netra will help with the cooking here is another example we will send you an email so just to recap just to quickly go over everything there are four futures i am teaching you today present continuous can be used as the future if it's very soon simple present can be used for the future if it's a routine or schedule if you look at a schedule in the future we can use the simple present we can use be going to if we are talking about the near future and we have evidence we are pretty certain it's going to happen and then we can use will and a verb for the far future for a promise or when we want to volunteer for something so there you have it four futures thank you